at channel6newsonline.com. I'm Eric Kandra here. There's many, many people waiting for Tony Hawk and Mitchie Russo to come and hit the half pipe. It's going to be a great day filled with music and festivals. It's going to be a lot of fun. MC. Running on. Revolto. to skate in the Big Apple? Uh, I'm, I'm stoked. I, you know, we've, I can't remember the last time I actually did a demo in the city like this. And uh, the fact that we have my ramp is, is really fun for me because then I don't have to worry about getting used to something. But uh, I, I'm, I'm just stoked that Quicksilver has, it supports us so much that they would be believe in us to do an event like this. You plan on doing a 900s when you're out there? Um, I never really plan it. It just depends on how I feel. So if I feel good, I might try it. I don't know. but but. We have a few guys here that are capable of it, so uh, we'll see what happens. How is it to be able to skate in the Big Apple? Oh, it's totally awesome, and I'm really looking forward to today because uh, we have our home ramp. So this is what we ride kind of on. We asked Kevin Staub what it's like skating with a 14-year-old, Mitchie Brusco. Oh, it's completely awesome. Mitchie is one of my favorite guys, and I've actually been watching him since he was about five years old. So it's great to just see like the progression and where he's at now. Yeah, and also, how is it to be able to skate with the legend Tony Hawk? Um, it's awesome. We've actually been riding together for about 35 years now. So he's been my best friend as a kid, and just the fact that we still get to hang out together and ride is pretty, it's pretty amazing. The win was strong, but Neil Hendricks said it was manageable. Yeah, you just had to kind of adjust while you were skating. You know, on one of the sides, it really it made it feel like you were going to hang up on the top, and the other side, it made it feel like you were going to land in the bottom. So a little bit of adjusting, and there were maybe a couple of technical tricks that we couldn't do, but... It was still fun, and there's all these people here, so we got to skate. How was it skating with Tony Hawk? Yeah, skating with Tony is always an inspiration. You know, I, I had posters of him on my wall when I was a kid, and so uh, you know he's 43 years old and still learning tricks and still skating good. So it's always motivating to skate with Tony. For Richie Brusco, going on tour at 14 is the opportunity of a lifetime. It's amazing. It just it's indescribable. It's. It's always been my dream just to be out here and skating with them. I mean, I've played his video games and I've, I've done all that. I still do all that. I mean, I'm still a kid, so it's like, it's surreal just skating with all these guys. When you and Tony Hawk went at the same time, was it scary when he was over you? I've, I've actually, he's never gone over me before, so that was scary. I've, uh, only one other time I've had someone go over me, and he was doing a five, so that definitely scared me. Have you ever went over somebody in your career? Yeah, yeah, I've gone over him before, and... Uh, I think a couple more people, but it, it was really scary. Well, it was a great day at Tony Hawk's Vert Jam at Pier 54. The win was a bit strong, making some of the skaters a bit hesitant to do their biggest moves. But it was still a great day. I'm pretty sure all the thousands of fans loved it and were really excited throughout the show. And for Channel 6 News, I'm Eric Hanschiger.